Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Belle, if you guys don't already know. In today's video, we are going to be doing a feminine, fe feminine, we are going to be doing a feminine, feminine. Anise, yeah? your mouth is uh, moving a lot like a rat. Yappa, 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 yappa. Shut it, please. A feminine hygiene. I might have been lying in. Cut me a break. We're gonna be doing a fe feminine hygiene video. I definitely wanted to do this video because whenever I be having people come around me, they be like, girl, you smell like, you smell good. And I just wanna teach ya how to keep a steady feminine hygiene routine. And this is not only going to be um, just, you know, female wise as far as like, you know, Miss Kitty. I also incorporated a couple things that I use. I use for my skin as well. I do tend to get eczema, um, especially around the winter time, and uh, I do have to keep my skin super moisturized. So I just want to show you guys the things that I keep in my everyday routine, as well as stuff I use on my skin. And also I wanted to give you guys a review on Honey Pot. Now Honey Pot is a black-owned feminine wash. They are Atlanta-based. I believe she's from Atlanta. I really just want to tell you guys a little bit about this because when I tell you this has changed my hygiene routine to a T, like this is the game changer. So if you want to learn more about Honey Pot and my everyday feminine hygiene routine, keep on watching. Okay, so I wasn't able to fit everything into my little caddy, but I definitely have stuff in front of me and in the side of me just so you guys can like really see. So for starters, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think feminine hygiene is. I feel like everything that you use as far as when you're in the shower, when you get out of the shower, everything that you do before you even leave the house. That's considered to me feminine hygiene. That goes from cleaning your ears, making sure everything is squeaky clean, making sure the panties is clean before you leave the house. You ain't got no dookie stains on your panties. It's all that to me. Like before you leave the house as a female, you need to be making sure everything is on point, okay? Cause you never know what could happen when you leave the house. So what I'm first gonna start off with is my mouth hygiene. What I use um, first thing when I get out of bed, cause the first thing you should do before you do anything is brush your teeth. So the first thing that I use for toothpaste is the Arm & Hammer Advanced White Extreme White Toothpaste. And when I tell you this stuff keeps your teeth squeaky clean white, like this, this toothpaste is a game changer for your mouth hygiene. I'm telling you, if you want white teeth without having to pay like $30 for Crest Whitening Strips, all that, just get this. This will literally, I feel like it has whitening in it, being that it says extreme whitening, but this is incredible when it comes to whitening. You will see a difference, I'm telling you, in a week. So um, this is the toothpaste that I use, if you want to screenshot that. And the cap is off of it because I lost the cap, which I always do. I lose the caps on everything. <laughs> Another thing that I have, and this is still like mouth hygiene, these whitening strips. I was actually sent these by Zimba. They come in like 10 different flavors. Um, I had got this in spearmint and I also got this in coconut. They're both really good and you just leave it on for like 20 minutes. You can literally leave this on while you're in the shower, doing dishes. You can literally just put that on while you're doing something and just take them right off. They have all natural ingredients in them and they do the same thing that professional whitening strips are. I'm pretty sure they have the same capability as press whitening strips because these will get your teeth white. Incorporate this. So now I'm going to go into the punani side of feminine hygiene. I wanted to do this first because I really wanted to talk about honey pot. I had seen, I don't know whose video I had watched but they were raving about this so I ended up giving this a try so I did use the sensitive one first um, this is a second bottle because I brought two just because I didn't know how I was gonna react to the normal one this is the normal one and then uh, this is the sensitive one so I tried both of them out. Um, I brought two of the sensitive one, that's why this one's unwrapped because I had a feeling that I was gonna react better to the sensitive one than the normal one, but I just wanted to give it a try. I did try the sensitive one first and it worked It worked great for me. Like it did not throw my pH off. It actually made me feel fresher after I used it. So <laughs> the sensitive one really worked for me. Now I wanna tell you guys about the normal one. So, and oh, and I didn't even know it's a plant-based feminine care. So everything in this is like plant based and natural and the ingredients in this include lavender vinegar and coconut so what I noticed about the difference between the two as far as ingredients wise so the sensitive one had lavender vinegar and co co 
Kalundala. Kalundala, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I actually seem to be more comfortable with the sensitive one. I had less of a reaction to it when I did use the normal one. I kind of had a reaction to it. I could tell that it was kind of throwing my pH a little walky throughout the end of the week compared to the sensitive one. Um, the sensitive one was just more gentle, I feel like, and the normal one is just more... Um, it has more of a smell to it and you can really smell the coconut in it so I definitely feel like if you're somebody whose pH gets thrown off you know by little like miscellaneous things like coconuts I would definitely stick with the sensitive they're both really good um, regardless of what regardless of how the ingredients are it just depends on your punani um, I definitely recommend this um, like it was just, it was a game changer like I really love this and it comes out like a foam just like that and it literally just evaporates when you wash. So it's literally nothing harsh. Um, it's all natural ingredients and it's black owned. So come on, like there's nothing more you gotta say. So the next thing I wanna show you guys is this raw sugar, sugar scrub. It's an exfoliator and it's raw coconut and mango. Um, I really love this for when I get my Brazilian. This is really, like I said, another game changer. After I get my Brazilian waxes, I used to always get ingrowns no matter what. I've been getting Brazilian waxes since my sophomore year of college, so it's been a couple years. Um, but this, as far as ingrowns, Honey, this is really what you need. Like, have you seen this new trend of people doing vajayshals and doing scrubs down there for your kitty? This is literally like, this is what they use. Like, you're not about to convince me otherwise. It's so bomb, it smells amazing. Like, amazing, and this is how it looks. This is definitely super good if you're somebody who gets waxes and you wanna make sure you have no ingrown hairs and the kitty's smelling fresh and pampered. After you get your wax, get you this. This is literally the go. So this is another, um, this is literally when it comes to getting rid of any ingrown down there, regardless if you get waxes or shaved, this is literally the go. So this is called 10 Skin Solution. I tried this over the summertime because I had seen somebody on Instagram post about it. And when I tell you this has gotten rid of any ingrown I've ever had, like you can literally put a dot on of this on an ingrown. It will literally be gone overnight. The only thing that I will tell you about this though is that it burns okay especially if, if you have like an open and grown like it was like you know you popped it or it was like a cyst before this will burn but I'm telling you the burn is worth it okay girl it is literally worth it you'll be fine sometimes when I exfoliate it still really isn't enough you have to get something that can get in there and like deep clean that shit so this is super good so this is what I use as far as ingrown guys and you can get this from Target everything that I showed you so far you can get from Target so um just a heads up, I will link everything down below, but everything so far that I've covered this, you can all get from Target. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> so when I first started college, I started to get something called hemorrhoids. Um, if you're a female, watching this you know exactly what i'm talking about you will meet them one day in your life girl so like i said i used to get hemorrhoids so my mom had actually bought this for me a while ago because i had some really bad ones when i had first started getting my period again they're called tux medicated cooling pads and they came in a box of two i'm gonna show you how they look they literally look like uh, little eye patches a little bit. These are super good if you're somebody who is hemorrhoid prone. A lot of the time my hemorrhoid are my hemorrhoids usually are spiked by certain things like if I'm not eating enough fiber and I'm constipated or if I eat spicy stuff, my hemorrhoids always come like that's why I can't be in too many hot wings girls my last episode because them shits hurt like if you've ever had them you just know you know if you know you know they sell these at CVS and they also sell these at Walgreens if you're interested in getting them and I'm pretty sure Target has them too so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is what I use to wash my body with right now well recently I have been using the Dove rebalancing body wash I actually got this from Marshall's and it's the microbiome it has skin probiotics in it apparently and I got this in white peach and white tea 
and it smells so good guys like it literally smells so bomb it literally smells like a nice peach tea on your skin I love to incorporate this in my shower routine because it just sticks to your skin and you'll be smelling like it all day I definitely recommend this it's super good so the next thing I wanted to show you guys is as far as deodorant I'm somebody who sweats a lot um, I get hot during the day like these lights already right here they're making me hot so I usually always stick with Dove deodorant it sticks it smells good um, I just like using it so I always get fit um, beauty finish I always get this exact smell when I get the deodorant um, it just smells so good I've been using this for years like if you guys ever try it just get beauty finish because honestly that cucumber shit all that that's just a childish girl get you this this will get you smell like a grown woman it'll be smelling fresh and grown I feel like this is almost like a deodorant with a perfume in it it just smells that good so the next thing I wanted to show you guys is what I use on my body as far as keeping myself looking like a shea butter baby so I've been using the the nature well extra virgin coconut oil moisturizer and cream when I tell you this lotion locks in like this is the type of lotion that has like lotion and oils in it and this is so good for us lovely melanin people this will have your skin looking so bomb almost look like you're ready for a photo shoot this is amazing and I really recommend this um I got this from Sam's Club if you guys don't have Sam's Club where you live I would try Costco BJ's I don't know what else but anywhere that like a wholesale warehouse type of grocery market I think would have this this is just so good guys like I just I can't express how good this is so when I do run out of that lotion I do tend to go to this this is also my go-to this is also good too um, after you get a wax it just it makes the kitty so smooth it makes everything smooth but it'll definitely get the kitty smooth and this is the, this is the Kapari coconut melt um, I absolutely love this I got this a couple months ago from Ulta and as you guys can see it's like almost done it's literally like pureed coconut it melts like oil once you put it in your hands which I really like so it literally transforms into like a body butter once you use it and it just it smells amazing so this is not this is more so I feel like part of my feminine hygiene but also just hygiene in general I feel like you should always have some baby wipes keep it in your purse keep it in your room keep it in your drawer you should always have some baby wipes on you you need to make sure that tush is nice and clean girl I really recommend that you get some hug these are the Huggies Simply Cleans and I also like the organic ones. These ones have a triple layer though, so when you wipe, you don't begin no dookie stain on your hand, girl. I usually get these ones. If I don't, I get the organic ones. I like a nice thick wipe to make sure that, you know, you know, it gets everything, okay? I don't want to keep getting into detail. When you go to the bathroom as a lady, if you take it at number two, you need to be wiping with the wipe, okay? Do not argue with me. So the next thing I wanted to show you guys that I incorporate in my uh, skin routine as well is the Palmer's Massage Cream and Stretch Mark Cream. Um, I really like this because, as you guys know, I have... Have, um, stretch marks on my arms um, because that's usually where I gain and lose weight the most so I've been using this and I got this from Marshall's for literally $2.99 and when I tell you this is really faded my stretch marks like girl this is really some shit and for $2.99 why not so if I were you I would head to my local Ross TJ Maxx and look for this see how it looks I've really seen a difference in the lightness of my stretch marks as I've been using this so I really do recommend this. So the next two things that I'm going to show you are stuff that I use as toners for my skin. Um, this is incorporated in like my face, my self care, face facial hygiene I guess so I really love the Fenty um, toner and I also love this toner that I had got from um, Marshalls as well um, this is the witch hazel apple cider vinegar toner and then this is the fat water from um, Fenty I do go in between with each of them but sometimes I I um, incorporate them together because this is more of like a drying toner and this is more of like a moisturizing toner so um, most of the time I do use them together and I will use like a cotton pad and wipe my face down with this and I like it's a toner but it like dries out your skin a little bit because it has apple cider vinegar in it so then I put this on and this just like adds the moisture it just 
just completes the tone you know what I mean so um I like using this as well and I like to incorporate this with my everyday um hygiene because it keeps my skin looking glowing it locks that melanin in you know I gotta be looking fresh it's the winter time like my skin has to look pure okay so the next thing that I want to show you guys is what I use as far as when I get my periods so I've been using these pads I got these from Target they're actually um organic and they're actually chlorine free um they're super thin um and I really like them because they have all natural ingredients in them which I really like um there, there's no like synthetic parabens so I really like this I've been using these um they don't give me like they don't they don't itch like you know how some pads be itching these don't itch I incorporate these with the playtex tampons I don't have any more left that I could show you guys but I usually use the playtex tampons because they're super absorbent so sometimes I'll just put this on and then put a tampon in if I'm super heavy because they are thin pads and this is not for somebody who has like a heavy heavy period but if you do wear tampons you can definitely wear one of these just to make sure you're safe so the last things I'm going to show you guys are stuff that are more so of my hair hygiene routine I just use this stuff as like every day if I'm just washing my hair um I only use shea moisture conditioner and shampoo um I try to lean off of the shampoo because I just don't like using shampoo I feel like it just strips a lot of the nutrients that your hair needs in it so um but I do when I do wash my hair I use shea moisture argan oil and almond milk shampoo um it's super good it smells so good like it literally smells so good and it sticks to your hair like I love stuff that sticks to your hair to your skin and it smells good it has marshmallow root extract and shimmer sh cherimoya cherimoya i don't know what that is but um yeah i mean it's good on my hair and then for conditioner i use a shea moisture manuku honey and yogurt hydrating repair conditioner and this has boba oil in it which is super cool to me and I got both of these from Marshalls, guys. I got this one for $4.99, and then this one was $6.99. And then what I really love using is my scalp massager. Now, I got this from Marshalls, like, around Christmas time last year. Literally, when I wash my hair, I have to use it. And there are so many health benefits to scalp massagers. Just look it up. It literally feels like somebody's massaging your brain. Like, like it's literally that relaxing. Like, it's so good. So, um, I got this from Marshalls. You can also get this on Amazon for probably cheaper, too. Now, when it comes to, like, sleeking down my hair and keeping my hair hydrated, usually I blow dry my hair and then I use the Camila Rose Oil. This is in Coca Nibs and Honey. This is in cocoa nibs and honey, and then I usually use the Eco Styles gel. This is the olive oil, shea butter, and black castor oil, and it has flax seeds in it. It's just super good. I really like this, so um, I definitely recommend this. I got this on Amazon because I never seen this in the store, but if you guys do have it in your beauty supply store, you can get it from there. I just never seen it at mine, but I really do like this better than the green one just because how much more natural ingredients this has in it. Um, like I said, it has olive oil, it has shea butter, it has black castor oil, and it has flax seeds when it comes to keeping my skin feeling super fresh i love using the cetaphil um gentle wash this is super gentle on your skin um anybody with any type of skin can use this and this is dermatologist approved and it has very mild ingredients um so nothing too harsh it's incredible for people who have sensitive skin like myself so i really love this i've been using this for literally years um it hasn't done anything negative to my skin so i really recommend anybody who's just dealing with skin problems or you just want a facial wash that's not too you know that that doesn't have too many chemicals like you know this is super great and i'm telling you if you show your dermatologist this they're gonna tell you the same exact thing so my last favorite thing to incorporate into my hygiene routine is my lip mask so as you guys can see the lips is always sweet tea over here, boo. Okay, they are always sweet tea. You are not about to see me walk around with no dusty, crusty lips. It's just not gonna happen, okay? This is literally my go-to as far as keeping my lips looking nice and moisturized and plump. These are my favorites. This one is in grapefruit, and then this one is in sweet candy. These are the Lineage Lip Masks. These are literally my favorite lip masks. They are so good. They smell so good. And they keep your lips so moisturized. Like you need this. You just need this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was super informative. I know there was a lot of stuff that I showed you guys. But this is literally how I keep myself feeling fresh and clean when I leave the house. Like I hate leaving the house 
feeling musty, dusty, crusty, like no. You need to be feeling good and looking good when you leave the house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too much for you guys. I know there was a lot of stuff that we covered, but I just want to make sure that all my mamas is feeling clean and fresh when they leave the house. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.